we now want to look at Kingdom Protoctista. Earlier on we say that Kingdom Protoctista contains the protozoas, it contains the algaes, and at the same time it contains the slide molds. All these organisms are single-celled or simple multicellular eukaryotic organisms. Eukaryotic organisms are organisms that have a clear nucleus in their cells and they live in moist or aquatic environment. So we are going to start by looking at the protozoas. Protozoas, we said they are in the Protoctista kingdom. And under the protozoas, we shall find the Palamecia, we shall find the Amoeba, the Prasmodium, and the Trypanosoma. Now, if you look at all these organisms, the protozoas, and you look at the Palamecium, the Euglena, and the Mweba, they are single-celled organisms, meaning that they have one cell. And in addition to that, they reproduce by binary fission. They are very small in size that we term them as microscopic organisms or organisms which are very small. And when it comes to the mode of movement, in Amoeba, they move by pseudopodium. That's a kind of movement of changing shape into another shape, that is, for the amoeba. For the plasmodium, plasmodium use cereus. They use cereus in the process of movement. And for the euglena, for them they use flagellas. Those are the mode of movement in these organisms. The protozoas which include the amoeba, the euglena, palamation, plasmodium, triponosoma, they have a mode of feeding which is heterotrophic nutrition. Whereby they feed by ingesting food like animals. They just feed on already manufactured foods. And they are aquatic in nature, meaning that they live in water, but also some can live on land. Those are the protozoas, which are a part of the Protoctista kingdom. We have seen that they are single-celled organisms, having one cell. They feed by ingesting in food, which is the heterotrophic nutrition. They reproduce by binary effusion. They are microscopic in nature and they are aquatic inhabitants. Now, still under Kingdom Protoctista, after seeing the protozoas, then they are also the algaes. 
analogies are organisms which include the spilogyla and the seaweeds. They are also single-celled organisms that live in a community or colonial. They live in a colony and their body are filamentous. For them, they reproduce asexually by fragmentation, binary fusion, spore formation that is when the weather is favorable or by conjugation in unfavorable weather they lack the xylem and phloem they do not have a xylem neither do they have a phloem but when it comes to the mode of feeding and nutrition they possess chlorophyll and therefore they carry out autotrophic nutrition whereby they manufacture their own food. The body is thorough, meaning that they are not differentiated into stems, leaves and roots. It is just a body which is without specific roots, stems, and leaves. That is why we call it a thorus. And when we come to the pigments, they contain various pigments. They have a red pigment, they have a brown pigment, they have a yellow pigment and a green pigment and that's what is used to distinguish between themselves different allergies with different pigments so we have seen that the allergies are single-celled organisms which contain various pigments like the yellow, green, red, brown and they lack the vesicular system. They also reproduce by fragmentation whereby parts break off, binary fusion and spore formation in favorable condition and the conjugation in unfavorable condition they possess chlorophyll meaning that they carry out autotrophic nutrition they manufacture their own food and that they do not have a differentiation into roots stems and leaves so next time when we come back we shall look at kingdom family